So there are things that when they happen, you get shocked because these are things that are out of the ordinary. Um, and um, in this year, 2024, particularly on the 6th of April, 2024, God shocked me. Um, and I'm glad that this happened and my wife was also there. Um, I have seen angels live in my life, I think about three times. And on this date, on the 6th of April, I saw an angel again live, which became the fourth time. And we were driving from Borodell. Um, one of my very close friends built the almost $2 million house there. So they had invited us over. To just look at the aesthetics and so on. And um, so we prayed in that place. We prayed in that place. And uh, we left that house around 11 p.m. So we drove to our house. But then just before we arrived at our house, we, I just heard my, my wife screaming, What is that in the air? What is that in the clouds? And alas, it was an angel. So I remained calm, but she couldn't remain calm because it was the first time. And on all the occasions that I used to talk about angels, she was just shocked. What is this man really talking about? So this angel was flying in the air. And then it made a sudden U turn. That's when it began to flap its wings. And uh, heaven bears me witness. This was happening at a time when there were certain attacks occurring on my life. And so I believe that um, it was an assurance from heaven that he exists, number one, and two, that heavenly beings exist. I have never seen an angel as vivid as what I saw on the 6th of April. It's so like that if you are to go to heaven yourself, you can get confirmation by heaven itself. If you have got any shred of doubt, I'm telling you, brethren, these things are real. God is real. Angels are real. Um, supernatural beings actually exist. In my heart, I just felt these three words that hell is coming. And that's my exhortation even to me. But um, it was around that time that I also saw a vision. And in this vision, I saw a celebrated man of God in Zimbabwe. Um, he was in a place which I know. And I'm not talking about a person that I don't know. Um, I'm talking about a person, a man that I know. I was surprised with this vision because I, it has never happened to him that you see him being carried. Like literally, um, you know how it is when a person is being carried or, or ferried. Like he couldn't walk on, on his own. I saw him being carried. And I was just shocked because I saw one of his uh, very close bodyguards carrying him to a car. I don't know what could have occurred to him, but I know that certainly that is not something which is right. Um, he's not a man of God that I, I have not celebrated. I have celebrated him. Um, I have celebrated him. And um, his name, of course, you know it. The name that all of you know about and it reminds anybody of the angelic. So seeing him like that in that position, and you know how it is um, in the prophetic. You see, you don't want to be mixing your feelings with the prophetic word. Sometimes how you feel and what prophecy actually is talking about can be contradictory. Like, contradictory just like that. 
And I'm standing there and I'm seeing a big girl. I also want to carry him. But there's somebody who is playing that role. He's carrying him to a car. This car looked white. But it is it had a, a, a black handwriting on it. I saw it. It had a black handwriting on it. These events that I'm talking to you about, they are in this book. So I've got this book where if I see something, I put it there. Now, the only reason why I do not talk about it is the material of time when it happened is because it was a time uh, when I think God was teaching me certain things through experience and also not to subject my gift to control, to feelings, to emotions. And I think God was also trying to draw me to his attention. So that is what I saw. I saw this popular man of God, very popular. Um, somebody that has obviously benefited other people, helped other people, but I saw him being helped. Like he needed help. So it wasn't him helping people now, it was him being helped. And when you see a person who has had uh, a political office getting help, especially help that is physical, and this is help that is physical, it is not help that is uh, uh, per se spiritual, it is help that is physical because the faculties are not able to do what they are supposed to do. Is it the ligaments? Is it what is happening to those legs? What has happened? What is the prior event? What is ex post facto? How do you explain it? You need to understand that also if you are receiving a prophetic word like this. But thank God that my God has never lied. That's why you find that I always post prophecies before the events. It's not my first time, I've got a track record. So, um, you also don't want to be posting uh, prophecies at a time when certain things are happening because you then risk being emotional. So, this is what I saw. And I saw him being lifted up by a man. Lifting her. You know, you know how it is when somebody is uh, being carried on, the, on a bed like a baby. Um, you know what we call Kupa for right now, Shona uh, native language. Um, so this is what I saw. Um, he was being carried like that and he couldn't walk on his own. Um, so that is what I saw. And I'm just praying that those who see this uh, prophecy, and if you're watching it, perhaps if you have the Holy Ghost inside of you, You'll be able to denote that this is not child's play and I'm one prophet who will never um, get involved in child's play when it comes to things that pertain to the prophet prophetic and the future. But I'm talking about the future. I'm 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 really serious about it. So that's what I saw. You don't want things happening and then people coming. That is that is always happened in my life. It's like people take me seriously when I talk about the future because they know and they are so keen on seeing it getting fulfilled and then celebrating. But I don't celebrate these prophecies, especially when they come to when they come to pass, um, uh, as they always do. Because the idea is isn't that really it gets fulfilled because it's not something that is uh, something you can celebrate. It's something that is out of the ordinary. It is out of the ordinary to see a man of such stature being uh, carried by somebody, and that person will look at them, they're thinking, okay, they don't have status. They're just an ordinary person uh, attending church. Um, and they have attended church for a long time, but they are now the ones to, to carry this man. All right, so let's pray. Let's intercede. It is time for, for intercession. And I'm thanking you all who are tuning in to this YouTube channel for the prophetic. And uh, some of you have been asking why I haven't been updating on the future. I've been sort of quiet.
quiet, but now is the time to begin and now is the time to keep you updated on what is about to happen. So from me and the rest of my broadcasting crew, I'm out. God bless you.